It's Madden NFL 22 on EA Sports, where division rivals will clash in the NFC North. It's the Lions and the Vikings, and it's coming up next on EA Sports. Spread between 4th and 6th streets in downtown Minneapolis, we welcome you inside spacious U.S. Bank Stadium. It can certainly get loud inside this building. And just a few moments ago when the Vikings were introduced, it was downright shaking in here. They're set for football as the Vikings get ready to do battle with the Detroit Lions. Brandon Gunn alongside, as always, my partner Charles Davis and CD. In the few moments here before kickoff, let's give these folks at home a look at these two offenses by the numbers. What stands out to you? Brandon, I just continue to be amazed by the analytics of the game, and it's an area where I continue to concentrate and study because I'm still trying to figure out how coaches and coordinators can really crunch the numbers and find where exactly on the field the defense is well open. It's the game within the game. And if you really dive into it, it can be endlessly fascinating. will be fielded inside the five. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Well, the Minnesota offense ready to go to work here. Their quarterback in his 10th season overall now. And fourth is a Viking, Kirk Cousins. After the career that he's had in the NFL thus far, you get the sense that he was underrated coming out of college. Not just great intangibles, but the ability to make plays come alive, whether he's exiting the pocket or throwing from within the confines of it. Cousins now to throw on first down. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes inbounds there. Breaks through. It's nothing but room to run. On third down, Cousins. The kick by Joseph is good. And the Vikings have a 3 0 lead. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that. And here comes the new look Lion offense here in 2021, led by their quarterback in his first season in Detroit after five in LA, Jared Goff. I love this guy's makeup. He is not afraid to fail. He attacks on just about every snap. Wants to throw the football downfield first. He'll throw it short if he has to. But bottom line, he must put a lot of pressure on the defense with his arm. Well, look at this, a tight end carry. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. To throw is gone. And this one grabbed by Darren Fells. They'll get nine. A play fake for Swift. Now Goff. He's got his tight end. It's Fells. And he is going to have him. feel like it's the end of the world either. Nice that they were able to pick up the first down there. Help him relax a little bit. 
He sets to fire deep. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up. Third down. From the gun, here's Cousins. He's going to find his tight end. That's Chris Herndon. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. His first catch. Good five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they're able to just roam and hit. And he will have a Vikings first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going. When they... On his side of the field, sees that the ball's moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. Cousins throw complete to Thielen. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 37. A good pick up there of 20 yards. In territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Cousins. Herndon's got it complete. That was the ninth play of the drive, and they pick up nine yards with it. That's a staple of this offense. Dra a tenth carry in the game for Cook. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 47 yards rushing for him. Now. Drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. He's got his man. It's taken in for a fucking touchdown. Chris Herndon there to make the grab. That extra point. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. Pretty long drive that time. 11 play. They'll fake the give. Now gone. And that is incomplete. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely... Cousins now, after the fumble recovery. That's to Dalvin Cook, his running back. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. A third down gain of 19. Here's Cousins. And that's complete to K.J. Osborne. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Throwing, Cousins. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. To stay out there. We'll see what the play call is. They need to find the right one here. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. It's Dalvin Cook there with one yard touchdown run. And the Vikings fight. He's got it, and it's 17 nothing. A drive that time of six plays. And it's capped off by the touchdown run coming from Dalvin Cook. A shotgun snap for golf. Open man is Quintez Cephas. Detroit, Quintez Cephas, 83 yards. And the Lions strike quickly here for six points. And CD, we have seen some great runs the last few times we've been together, but I think we could at least put this one in our top five. That was a determined gallop there. Austin Seibert on for the extra point. And it's 17-7. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. On play action, Cousins. Open man is Osborne. He's got it. And he's got it past the Fevers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. A first down throw for Cousins. And the pressure too much that time as Cousins goes down. Another try after the first down sack. Cousins. 
Under pressure, they got him again. Michael Brockers, he's the one now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Now on third and forever, he'll look to throw. That one into the hands of Thielen, complete. He create that spark. Well, so far, he has one touchdown, one interception. He'll be looking for that second touchdown now. On first down, it's gone. Open man, the tight end fails. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second. And they'll try the jet sweep here. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, we've seen now. And it continues to test the defense. They have to think on every play about who might end up with the ball. Seven yards, the pick up there. He went in route there from the slot for the completion. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. And the Lions. Early pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. On the handoff, this is Swift. And he'll be brought down this time at the five. You can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. No gain at all on the play there. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. They go ahead and snap it. Gone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. Amon Ross St. Brown there to make the grab. And the Lions have got it down. They went for it. Extra point by Seibert, up and good. And the lead is down to a field goal. So that drive consumes nine plays, all told. And it's capped off by a touchdown at their own 18. Throwing his Cousins. This one brought in by Jefferson. Cousins now. That's complete to the receiver, Thielen. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. A first down. For... They go play action. Cousins. And he's got this to Jefferson. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40. 10 at the 42-yard line. Cousins again. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Cook. And second and 10 now from the 27. Again, it's Cousins. That's complete to his running back, Jefferson. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the... Now Cousins. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. K.J. Osborne there to make the grab. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So that drives seven plays in length, and it's polished off. Joseph now to kick this one away. Raymond now on the return. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Here Good go. coverage go. there by the kick team. And the Lions getting set to go on offense to start the third. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Third quarter starts with a run from Swift. 
And not much there at all. He's up only to about the 16-yard line. Second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Out of the gun, Goff. That's into the hands of Khalif Raymond. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. Give him three yards as they come up on third down. Goff now looking to throw. And this one is... On third down, Cousins. And that is from the 31, Goff. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Vikings pick up the football. And they'll have the ball set up in the red. Down to the 16 here for first and 10. Cousins now after the fumble recovery. Throw complete to Herndon. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. A solid pickup. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings! C.J. Hale. Extra point right down the middle. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. It's in desperate need of conversion as they come up on third down. Once again, it's Swift. And Swift is not going to get there as they stop him short of the yellow line. Actually added a second game because, let's face it, the whole league is focused on the one that you mentioned on Sunday night. The whole world is focused on that one. That is going to be dramatic. But you mentioned Arizona and the Rams. Houstonville Cincinnati, the last two number one overall picks at quarterback, Trevor Lawrence and Joe Burrow. And right now, Joe Burrow is playing at a higher level. Cook on the first down carry there as he works. To throw his Cousins. And the pressure too much that time as Cousins goes down. Michael Bright. Applaud. So now after the sack, Cousins and the Vikings come up here third and long. Here's Cousins. And that's going to be first and ten. Here's Goff. Open man, the tight end fails. Stay with the overall essence of the running game. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Five and ten now from the 30. From the gun, here's Goff. And this one taken in by Cephas. On second down, Swift. And this will wind up a Lions first down as he'll get this up to about the 42. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Run. Now it's Goff. Now that'll be caught by St. Brown. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Get a good head of steam going. From the 50, it's Goff. And that's hauled in by St. Brown over the middle. And he'll get it down to the flife in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. To throw is Goff. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick us. This is third and four. Goff now to throw. He's got his man, T.J. Hawkinson. And he is going to have a Lions first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five. A pair of third down conversions for them on this drive. But right now they need five yards on this third down try. Back to throw. Goff. Looking left side, and it's complete. And he is going to have Lions on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for ten. This is third and ten. Now gone. Open man is Raymond. He's got it. And he'll be brought down well short of the first. Yards. 
Seibert able to knock this one through. And that will close the gap down to 14. Well, with that field goal, you can argue they needed to get back within two scores, and they did indeed do that, but still a pretty uphill battle. Still going to take two fourth-quarter touchdowns to get back their own 20-yard line. They start the drive with Cook. Room here to run. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Vikings. Delvin Cook, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Vikings are able to strike the whole thing. And got it. That's a great way to send a message to the opposing team. The extra point splits the uprights. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Goff on first down. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off around the 27. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. And that one will point. And that'll increase their lead to 28. In search of redemption from the pick six, golf. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And he's got this almost. Out of the gun, golf. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Nine yards, not quite. Fence converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. Desperation time for Goff on fourth. And able to catch it, but he's out of bounds. And the throw took it. On second down, it's Cook again. It'll be a gain of five. Here it's third and three. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. On second down, Cook. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Up in here. This run got three. Now here's second and seven. A give. This is Cook. Open space inside the 10. And he's all the way down to the six-yard line. But two. Pour some more salt in the wound. Now Cousins. And that's going to be knocked to. Joseph's got it. And they're well on their way now as the lead grows even larger. But it gets them inside the five, but they could not punch it in. And credit the defense, too. Make sure that that happens because that was the issue of the football as we welcome you back. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Daniel Hunter able to. First down, here's the run with Cook. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. My goodness, two on a big time running play and create extra space. You've got to hit the jackpot there. On second down, it's Cook. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26 yard line. But Charles, it's one thing to win, it's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why are they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points. Continually feel like they're moving the ball. Things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. 